this week has been seriously busy and we've had a total and utter home makeover. We've had a new stove fitted and I've also created a totally new lounge area and Ian's lowered the seats by about four inches and it is now so cozy and it feels like a little cottage and it is absolutely beautiful. So watch here how we did this and how our plans unfolded. Whilst we've also been at the marina that we've been staying in, we've been learning all about invasive fish and the fish called zanders and apparently they stun them in the water and they remove the zanders because they, they eat 24 seven and apparently are considered very invasive and very annoying to the other marine life um, or the canal life. When the sun sets at about six o'clock the colors in the sky are just so so beautiful and we're staying here just a little while longer until we can get the boat to parked so that's going to be done next week and we're then we're staying in market harbour and we have also decided to go back to market harbour yet again the plans just keep changing but that's the way that this life goes you just have to go with the flow Part of redoing the stove meant that I wanted to kind of redo the lounge area so we decided to lower the sofa a little bit because it was a little bit too high. I had to make some new sofa cushions so that they would fit better because the last ones are a little bit, little bit too sort of like tight so I've redesigned the sofa area and Ian lowered the sofa by about four inches and it has made such a difference. Murphy can jump on and off the sofa now without being aided and it has made life so much easier. I've also been painting, doing so much painting in the lounge, getting ready for some new shelves that we're gonna put up soon. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful. <laughs> you can't get it in. <laughs> oh my God. Come on. You see Murph? Bit of fabric, it's fine. We don't need we don't need to make him a bed. Just a little scrap of fabric. Yeah, I know, he's so funny. Watching too many Amy and Wes disastrous um, DIY videos, that's what it is. I blame Amy and Wes. 
I think my painting skills have improved slightly from this morning. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was doing. Like, I couldn't hold, I couldn't even hold the brush properly. I was like, <laughs> Monkey probably could have actually painted the, um, the chimney thing probably better than me. I'm learning off of um, Amy and Wes getting influenced by them by watching their their video this morning with their disastrous DIY. We truly claim that they were influences though. <laughs> it was really good. They had um they found their bilge um not their bilge, they found their inspection hatch because they haven't been able to find it. <laughs> And um, I, I commented and I said, I really should. We, we need to tell people about how we nearly sunk the boat. Don't we, Ian? Mm -hmm. well, most people know by now. They don't, not on our channel. The guys don't know what you did. They don't know that you don't put the pipe. <laughs> it wasn't Ian's fault. It wasn't your fault, was it? Ian put the pipe, the water, there was a fresh water inlet pipe on the outside of the boat and we filled up the water tank and um, the water that water pipe had been disconnected halfway down the boat. We spent half an hour filling up the bottom of the, well the inside of the boat with water underneath the floorboards. <laughs> Terrible. A shame we didn't film it, you know? Shame my mini meltdown. Like a mini meltdown. I I think I left. What did I do? I went to see I went to see Helen, didn't I? I can't remember. I was like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> One of those. Like four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. I swear it was in the morning. It was. I swear it wasn't in the afternoon. I swear it was in the morning. Because I remember laying in bed thinking, like, why is the bed? Why Why are we listing? So I swear it was in the morning. And then, yeah, yeah I, I got dressed and I went around to see Helen and Stephen and I was like, I don't think I can do this anymore. I think I need to go to an Airbnb. gonna make such a difference. I mean it might have been quite nice to paint it like light grey but I think because of having the stove mm -hmm. I think it's more sensible to actually have it um, yeah. black or dark dark grey it might actually might keep it like this. Yeah. But yeah zebra black is not black <laughs> it is dark grey. There's no such thing as black in nature. Maybe a pair of horses, eh? I don't know if they're ever actually better zebras, but I just tell you whether it's. God, I can't. This is just so good. Getting rid of the orange. The hideous orange. I can't believe at one point, I think this might be the last bit. Possibly. I, I will say that. Might it might be the last bit of the orange. It'll be fine this week. Yeah. I can't believe the whole boat was like this. The entire boat was orange everywhere. Like everywhere we pulled things. It was orange below the gunnels. Yeah, orange below the gunnels. Oh, just white. And white above it. It's just horrible. I mean, you're not going to see this bit, but I want to get rid of it. I actually need. There is a principle I need to get rid of. I need the orange has got to go. Even if it's just one coat. Right, every time I open the seat, I'm gonna see orange because it's actually inside the seat. That's the question, do I paint inside it as well? 
there's always gonna be something left. It's gonna, we're gonna have to have something left. I should finish that bit before I start that bit, shouldn't I really? Yeah. Well, I could paint this as well, but. Wait, what? I could paint this. Don't worry about that. Just, no. just paint the bits we If I get a bit on it, does it matter? No, it's already 20 past the force. 